There are your top three and where they are in the pits. Bobby Hamilton is out of the pits, taking on only two tires, while most of the rest of the lead car lap cars get four. But again, pit position. We talk about track position, but here pit position. He took two. He's out ahead of Jeff Gordon, who took four. So Jeff's got a big advantage. When I talked to Charlie Presley, his crew chief this morning, he said, Larry, I don't plan on changing left side tires maybe over about twice during this race. He said, I want to give him that track position. But if your car is tight, not turning, you have to be careful with two tires. It'll make it even a little tighter. So you got to make an adjustment with those two tires. All right, let's show you why we're under caution. It happened down at turn, down at turn now, one. Now, the four car right here, look, he's heavy on brakes. See how his nose is down against the racetrack? And here's Kenny Wallace way out here going wide into turn one. Look what happens. Yeah, they the spot. come together right there. So I, would, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't be mad at Mike Skinner. Kenny Wallace was probably laying out thinking that uh, Mike was going to dive under him. They just come together. From Matt Kenseth's view, Keep coming. Good. Clear all around. Clear all around. Still green. And Kenny Wallace. Hold the brake. Hold the brake. Come on. Hold the brake. Hold the brake. So Wallace lost a lap because the leaders were closing in when that happened. Let me tell you somebody else that lost a lap that had been in the top 10. There you see Jimmy Spencer, the 41. He did not make the paddle man over there, the stop and go. Jeff Hammond, lots of trouble for Jimmy Spencer. Yeah, I don't know what happened because I can't see his pit from where I am right now, Larry, but he came around and he was trying everything in the world to get out and beat that pace car out. And that uh, NASCAR sign guy just about got ran over trying to hold him. Darrell, it sounds like that's where you take the speeding penalty in order to avoid being held at the exit of the pits because the pace car was going past and be a lap down. Well, that's what it, that would be wise on, on the spotter's part to tell him to go on and take the penalty. He might have been trying to do just that, Steve. Mike, Jeff Gordon tells Robbie Loomis the car just keeps getting better and better. They changed four tires, no other adjustments on that 24. Matt Yoakum. Steve, the 32 car took on four tires, no adjustments. Remember, we told you the car was just a tick tight, but they chose to leave it alone to Dick Bergeron. Kurt Busch, who bounced his car off happy hour yesterday afternoon, came in and took four tires, a little wedge adjustment to the back end. The car was a little bit loose in. They also adjusted the air pressure. He came in as good as 12, came out in 18th spot. He's running very well today. Mike? Thanks, Dick. 79 laps complete. Only Andy Hillenberg in the garage area, though Casey Atwood's car is off the track and under repair. Kenny Schrader's back on the speedway, and we're getting set to go with this restart. Hermie Sadler alongside as we get set for the green, restart. Green, green. Well, let's crank it up. Some drivers who did not pit. There are the I love Fox tracks. There are the leaders pinpointed for you in the middle of the pack. Jerry Nadu, Jeff Burton, and John Andretti. And how that happened, Jerry Nadu and Jeff Burton, they pitted back on the first caution at lap 25. John Andretti in third, he pitted on the next caution at lap 52. Again, different agendas. We're going to see that all day long, DW. First time that Nadu has ever led a Winston Cup short track race. Rusty Wallace had a tough spot. Uh, stop, he's back in 21st. I tell you, a guy that's impressing me is Hermie Sadler. He got spun out down here, but let me tell you, that little guy, he was seventh quick in happy hour yesterday. He just passed Steve Park and is pulling away from these cats to get back on the lead lap. There's and right a, now, he's on the lead lap. He's just at the tail in the right. lead lap. He needs that caution flag big time. On the back of that car are 300 million reasons why. <laughs> they were lined up at the convenience stores here in Martinsville 
uh, last night, which is just across the border from North Carolina that doesn't sell, doesn't participate in that particular lottery. The drawing, next drawing is Monday. Getting intense right up here in the front. And you know what I like about short track racing? Everybody's intentions, you start out with the best of intentions. You got a game plan, but the first thing you know, the heat's turned up, people start hitting you, banging around on you a little bit, and you, you forget your agenda. Now here's the guys that was leading the race before that caution, Jeff Gordon in the 24, Tony Stewart in the 20, Dale Earnhardt Jr. in the 8, but they're stuck back there right now because of cars that didn't get 9th, 10th, and 11th. And Gordon's just going to kind of move up on the outside, I think, and let get a little heat off that back bumper. Darrell, he's going to run up uh, against uh, some traffic ahead that's a little slower. Might not be able to get down to the bottom. He may not be it, but one thing I noticed again about his Go car in practice, he was a little slow on four new tires, but the car got better in the longer run. And I think we saw that at the beginning of the race as well, but they're going to have a rear view mirror of Ricky Craven in that 32. Go he's there. pulled right up to the back of these guys right now. He wants to stay behind Dale Earnhardt Jr. while they have Jeff Gordon trapped on the high side. Go Craven there. has been Go the there. best car Go here clear, through clear. these first 88 laps. He really has, and that's just amazing. Now, the guy that pitted while ago that took two tires, he's the only car out there right now. He's in sixth position that took two tires that we know of, and he's the first car that pitted on the last caution. He's pulling up on John Andretti in the 43 car, remember, that stayed out that last time. And the car looks good, Larry. I mean, he's getting good forward bite. He's cutting through the center pretty good. Uh, those two tires are working for him right now. And you better believe those other 42 crew chief are paying close attention to what those two tires are Oh, doing. yeah. I mean, they got the watches on him. They're watching what he does, and they'll be, uh, they'll be mirroring that later on. And while everybody else is running side by side, Bobby Hamilton's in the rocking chair. He's not part of this kind of battle right here. And that's so good here. You don't want anybody in front of you. You don't want anybody behind you. You're getting good, cool air to your brakes, and ain't nobody beating your back bumper off. Third car in line is Jerry Nadeau. He is our leader. Jeff Burton is second. Again, out of sequence pitting. And here's Craven and Gordon. Yeah, get it. Craven come off turn two over. He got sideways and allowed Jeff to get back up under him. And here he goes. I tell you, Gordon's car just gets better the longer it runs there. He looks like they're low air. And the setup they've got, he's kind of set up for the long runs. But Strickland in the 23 car there, driving for Bill Davis, he's on the lead lap off of pit sequence as well. In 10th place. So these guys are fighting way back in the pack here. But he can't hold the bottom of the racetrack. And I'm sure Gordon Spotter, Ron Thiel, relaying that to Jeff. Stay on that inside because Strickland can't hold the bottom. And there goes Gordon. Yeah, the good spotter will say, your line, stay inside, that line's moving. Go outside, that line's moving. So the spotter is really the key to how you get through some of this traffic. It's amazing. To this, today they're telling about which line's moving. Next week at Talladega they'll be telling about which <laughs> line's moving. That's right. Jeff Hammond. Yeah, guys, I've been sitting here watching the battle going on between Jimmy Spencer, Kyle Petty, Brett Bodine. The guys at the back, again, they're pushing and shoving, trying to get ahead because they know the leader's coming. But they've run out of patience early, and I thought just a second ago off of turn two, it was going to be a three-car pileup whenever Kyle and all got together. What's so much fun about watching a race here is you see, you see a driver, if he can't beat a guy off the corner, bang him off the corner. <laughs> <laughs> That's where we got that term beating and banging, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> Coming up on 100 laps, one-fifth distance at Martinsville Speedway, Jerry Nadeau, Jeff Burton, point-standing runner-up Matt Kenseth, Mike Skinner, and John Andretti are the leaders. Folks, can we time these cautions? We don't plan it this way, I promise you. We'll run to another one, and here's the reason why. Jimmy Spencer cut down a left rear tire going into turn one, spun the car up to the wall, Caution came out, Spencer on pit road. The left side tires, Larry alluded to it earlier, they only have 10 to 12 pounds of air in them. So uh, this is right after, you know, we go back to racing after a caution. If you hit anything or if you abuse those left side tires just ever so slightly, you can cut one down or even knock it off the rim. And that looks like, I didn't see any contact, did you, Larry? Didn't see it there at the end of that replay right there, but he hits left front pretty hard on the wall. Now Spencer will go a lap down on his stop. Pit road is open and among the five leaders, John Andretti is the only one to pit. And remember, he didn't pit the last time. He pitted on lap 51 about 50 laps ago. Ward Burton in the 22 as well. With that low air pressure, if you pay such a price, you've got to do it because if you go on a long run and the buildup gets in the tire, you can't drive the car. But boy, you got to be careful with them when they're down that low like they are here. 
So we're under caution as Ward Burton and John Andretti complete pit stops. Quite a number of the cars one lap down have now come in.